Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and here are already some of the questions that are of course arriving for people that um, are saying what we just got the November 2019 update what is this a new version of Windows again now okay here's the questions and answers because I already have quite a few questions that were posted or sent to me concerning the next version of Windows 10 Okay, no worries. If you're on Windows 10, either May 2019 update or have moved to the November 2019 update, this is an optional update for you guys and it's not going to be forced on you. No version is forced on you anymore. They are all um, versions that are optional updates for people that are still in the, uh, you know, the um, time of getting that version to be working right. Uh, so, you know, there's, of course, a uh, a life to Windows 10 versions, which is 18 months for the regular users. So you guys on May 2019 and November 2019 can skip this version, actually, and wait till the 20H2 version later next year. Actually, the May 2019 update, you guys will be uh, forced to that 20H2 when it arrives in, in the fall of 2020. For those on the November 2019 update, you guys won't have to be, uh, won't be forced and won't have to update to a new version of Windows until early 2021. So you guys got a long way to go and you can just stay there if everything's all right. Once again, uh, is there a way to block if you uh, really don't want it? Once this is going to start being forced on you because you're getting at the limit of your version, um, well, for example, who will be forced to this version? If you're on the October 2018 update, that's the uh, version a year ago, the October 2018 update, you guys will be forced on this version of uh, 2004 because it'll be 18 months and that means that you guys will be pushed here to this version. That's why I off I, I posted several videos mentioning that, you know, the November 2019 update is a pretty darn good update. Maybe everybody should move to that update and stay there. And if you don't wish for a while to move on, you'll be able to, you know, you'll have more than a year of like no worries, no 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 feature updates or major updates of any kind. The uh, minimum requirements and all of that, Microsoft hasn't released anything yet, but since I, of course, am testing that on a few machines here, some are old, like five, six, seven years old, uh, some newer, of course, I can tell you that all the machines that I have right now run this version of 2004 really well. So there shouldn't be any problems uh, for the existing Windows machines, probably. The um, speed and everything is the same. There's no slowdown. You know, Microsoft has done a pretty good job at pretty much maintaining the same performance throughout Windows 10 updates. Uh, actually, even improving in some versions the speed, including the November 2019 update, if you have a recent machine, has a new way of throttling the CPU that actually makes it better and even... Uh, makes your uh, makes your battery life much better. So uh, you know these are all things to think about. And uh, of course, if you want to see a little bit of the new features, you can check out the video I posted earlier of some of the key features uh, that either resemble or are upgraded and are better or new in uh, this version 2004. Is uh, it, do we have a name? No, we don't have a name. Microsoft will not announce a name on until maybe a, a week or two before it actually is officially released. So, you know. Will it contain Microsoft Edge Chromium? Yeah, because Microsoft Edge Chromium is officially released January 15th. That means this version 2004, when it is officially released, will contain Microsoft Edge Chromium version that will be available at the time. So uh, that's things that's going to happen for sure. Uh, right now, it doesn't contain the Microsoft Edge Chromium browser because it's not officially released, so it's not inside this build. But it will eventually show up within the build rather than the good old Microsoft Edge from 
the original Windows 10 version. So if you uh, have any questions uh, that you would like me to answer about that next version of Windows, uh, let us know, as this is uh, going to be probably uh, quite a few people want to ask and um, understand a little more about it. So, uh, but don't worry, this is not coming to most people before at least March or April of 2020, as it's going to be the spring update. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.